Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Do You Know About Orlando? One of the great things about Do You Know About Orlando is all the mom and pop shops that actually cook great food, you're actually gonna hear it here first. So we are here at the lovely Wild Mangoes and so we're gonna go into more of that in just a moment. But first, let me actually give you the two uh, co-hosts currently now, which is? A Shane and Valentina. And Valentina. And so what we're about to do right now is actually try these couple of dishes and actually let you know how good it is. Because what we do is we never give you anything that's less than a five. I think that's an insult to you and it's an insult to me. So uh, right now we're about to try uh, our Aki Rose, our um, mango and honey hab habanero wings, and then also as well uh, our Aki with... No, saltfish. Saltfish with... Tostanos. There we go. Yes. Tostanos. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're about to uh, try Dang. one of these and just a moment, but I do want to give a shout out to Wild Mangoes as well, just allowing us to eat here. Without them, you wouldn't know what great food is. Uh, so, ladies, what are we going to try first? I want, I mean, because I'm Jamaican, so I'm uh -huh. looking at that. I'm eyeballing that Aki. I need it. I need it. Aki is our number one dish in Jamaica, and it's an Aki roll, but to me, it looks like an Aki patty. So, I'm about to tear in. So people, you know me, I eat like a savage, so I don't need <laughs> silverware. But uh, let's dig in. It is really good. Like the whole mix of like everything, the filling and the outside of the empanada is delicious, really. Okay, I really have to say like, Wow, when you come to the ackee rolls, like I kid you not, like just the flavors are just magnificent. Like the ackee is cooked to perfection. Like when it comes to like the seasoning, wow, the red peppers and everything are just totally amazing for my book. And yeah, so it's ackee stuffed in the empanada and fried. You, you can't probably see this, but there's onions, there's green bell pepper, there's red bell pepper. It's really yummy. I'm about to snatch theirs off your hand and start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, so. I don't think this is going to do. This ain't going to do for me. I need more. <laughs> mm. So people, really, don't sleep on this dish because like, this is cooked with love. I kid you not. Like You can tell by every bite. Have you had Aki before? Mm. They say they say Aki. It's Aki. Okay? <laughs> It'd be like Aki. No, Aki. Aki. What exactly is Aki? It's a... It would be considered a fruit by a fruit standard. It's um, grows on a tree. It's yellow. Um, my American friends say it tastes like eggs, but it's a fruit. Um, you have to wait till it opens all the way up before you ingest it, or it's poisonous. Wow. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be all the way ripe before you ingest it. And aki is like the like our national dish. Like if, if I hear a Jamaican say they don't like aki, I'd be like, give me your card. Give me your Jamaican card. You ain't no Jamaican. You know, because it's so yummy. Like, <clears throat> But it's a fruit, but we cook it for breakfast. Um, and it tastes more like a vegetable because it's not sweet, as you can taste. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and wow. sometimes I like, I like my aki like spicy, but it's a breakfast dish. I know like here in America, breakfast dishes are usually sweet. Ours are um, not. And they're heavy food. Like aki on saltfish, kalalu on saltfish, like big heavy meal to start your day. What we're about to do now is jump into this swordfish and mm -mm. saltfish. Salt <laughs> saltfish tostones. See. And saltfish mm -hmm. is just codfish dried with salt. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so when you buy it, you can buy it from um, Walmart or wherever. I mean, in an ethnic area. Um, it's just codfish and they use salt to dry it and preserve it. Without further ado, like, let's take a bite. Well, so Valentina, tell me what you're facing over there. How does it taste? You know, I'm Latina. I love me some good tostones. Like, that's like signature. But it's it's good. It's 
it has a little bit of a sweet taste mm -hmm. so it's good and like fun fact like when i was little bacalao which is like the fish uh, like kids were used to be scared of eating it like it was like blech. but now that i'm first trying eating it it's really good this is like a normal fish it's delicious you don't like bacalao where, where are you from ecuador oh ecuador oh yeah. really it's like a mess like yeah like cat like a catfish eating a oh, catfish yeah. it's like that oh okay so yeah oh okay yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't try it, but they say it's like, meh. Wow, and so now folks, we're about to go into the feature of the night. As you can tell with the feature, you just have to move stuff to the side and just bring it forward <laughs> just so you can see it. I am excited and scared at the same time. <laughs> I love mangoes, but it, they're spicy, so I'm, I'm scared. I don't like spicy food, mm. but I'm gonna give it a try. That's so far, so good. Mm. Mangoes probably cut the spice, maybe. Possibly. Possibly. Hopefully. Possibly. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. So it's, it's what, what's the name of this dish again? So it's a mango and honey habanero wings. Mango and honey habanero wings. That mm -hmm. sounds scrumptious. Um, I will not be partaking in this dish. I don't eat chicken, uh, but I'll watch your face. I'll watch your reactions. I'm going to eat some more dish. That's true. Aki. Ah, oh, the mango is so slippery. Mango tastes so good with a little spice heat to it. kicking in. Mm -hmm. Spice kicking in. Spicy. This is awesome. All right. So now we're about to like dive into the wings itself. Yo. Too spicy. To you, Too spicy. Do you know about Orlando fans? To you. Not wow. Okay. Wow. Valentina, after you. Tell me about this dish. Everything with mango has to be perfect. And this is not the exception. Like, the spice is kicking in, but it's something that you can't handle. It's not something that's burning your mouth. And the sweetness of the sauce with the chicken, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's probably the best wing I've ever had. No joke. Mm -hmm. Indeed, because like, it's seasoned to perfection. And then, like, once you dive into, like, the honey habanero portion for us with the mango, it is truly amazing. Like, pardon me as I take another bite. Like, mm. Mm. The way y'all talking, I might have to eat some chicken. <laughs> hey, you might have to jump in this because... Like, I eat at different wing places, but truly, like, this is, like, the best wings that I've ever tasted ever in my life. In, in my your life? life y'all. In your life? In my life. Your whole life? Whole life. Your whole entire life? Like, think about to Whoa. childhood to now. Wow. Life. That's for fine. I'm going to eat me some chicken. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because, like, it's seasoned perfectly, like. Really? Oh, okay. I'm going to taste the mango. Mm. I'm not cheap. Taste the mango. Taste the mango. Okay? mango. Because I got to taste this. Wow. Because like, when you think about wings, it's like you have to have a perfect wing. And what I mean by that is don't try to cheat. Like, like don't try to go to like microwave your meat or, or, or don't try to like cook your meat without seasoning and then add sauce. You're cheating yourself. Perfectly season your chicken. Then from there, add the sauce. The sauce is an accessory. It's not the main dish, people. This is so good. So good. See, I didn't taste the chicken. I just had that mango, and that mango, I like spicy. And that, I promise you, that was perfect. It was sweet. It had that kick, that mm. spicy kick. 
I'm almost tempted to eat this chicken, but I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do no. it. Most Jamaican spots will do the curry, curry chicken, curry gold, ox teal, bone stew chicken. But if they can give you habanero wings and the way you lick in your fingers, I think that's a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yeah. Right now, yeah. But it's delicious. Yeah, wow. and, and just adding a twist to the meal, like that aki, um, aki roll. Mm hmm. That's a twist to a traditional Jamaican dish, you know, and I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. I, I don't like to cheat people. If I have great food and I know what great food is, you need to know too. Because life is too short to eat bad food. I kid you not. Life is too short. Like, wow. True. True, true, true. But until next time, um, just please do what you do. Eat good for me. Enjoy your show, like, enjoy Do You Know About Orlando because we're bringing you food that you cannot miss to eat, like, for real, for real. But until next time, just please take care, God bless, and yo, continue to eat, foodie family, continue to eat. Bye. Right, bye. Take care.